This is question 13 from section 1 of the 2018 ENSER paper. So in this question, we're given a point Q and told it's 5 kilometres from P on a bearing of 65 degrees. And we're given a point R and we're told that's 5 kilometres from Q on a bearing of 155 degrees. And we're asked to find the bearing of P from R. So how do we go about this? Well, we've got all this information here, and this is in a horrible form in a minute. Let's draw a diagram. So firstly, Q is 5 kilometres from P on a bearing of 65 degrees, which looks like this. So our north arrows from P, 65 degrees clockwise to Q, and then the length is just marked in 5 here. And then similarly, R is 5 kilometres from Q, so our north arrow should go on Q, on a bearing of 155, which will be roughly down here. Indeed it is. And once again, that's five kilometers. And what are we asked to find? Well, we know whatever we're asked to find concerns this line from R to P. And we're asked to find a bearing of P from R. So our angle is relative to R. And so this is the angle we need to find. Let's call that theta. So let's try and build up what we know. What do we know then? We know this is 65 degrees. So if we drew a similar thing here and mark this angle, that would be 65 degrees too, right? Because all I'm doing here is just trying to fill in everything I know and try and get as much information as I can. So you see this angle here, well, we know what that is, don't we? We'll fill that in because that's got to be 25 because angles on a line add up to 180 degrees. But if this is 25, then this must be 25, right? Because these two lines are parallel. And so we've got a lot of information here. This is great. And we realize if we can figure out this angle, we can work out theta. Because theta plus this angle plus 25 is 360 degrees. So let's mark this x. And you'll know I mark this one x as well. Why is that? Well, this triangle, it's an isosceles triangle, isn't it? This is length 5, this is length 5. And so these two angles will be the same. So we'll mark this as x and this as x. But from here, we can algebraically get to the answer. We know that angles in a triangle are to 180 degrees, right? So we know x plus x plus 25 plus 65 has to equal to 180. And this is great because from this we can find x. Take away the 65 and 25 and we get 2x equals 90. And from that divide through by 2x is equal to 45. And then we're essentially there, because we know theta is equal to 360 minus this, minus this. So theta is equal to 360 minus 45 minus 25, which is 290. And that's good, because that's answer E in our multiple choice. So our answer is E.